All right, Doc, let's turn to your questions okay. from the viewers. Question number one here, can a transplant, can transplant patients get the COVID-19 vaccines safely? If you look at the CDC website, you guys, they specifically ask about people with severely compromised immune systems, of which people who have uh, received a transplant are. They're on chronic immune suppression. Um, there's not a lot of data about that, so we don't really know. We can't evaluate the risks versus the benefits. We do know that people who have compromised immune systems, like pregnant women, may be at higher risk for COVID-19 complications, but it also may be the case that they might have a diminished reaction in terms of an immune response to a vaccine. So we still need a lot of research and a lot of data in this area. People with transplants should talk to their, to their physician. All right, uh, can the COVID-19 vaccine cause infertility? This is probably the most common question I get from women. And we have to remember that right now there is no long-term data looking at these vaccines and future fertility, right? So this myth went around social media, went around the web, circulated, people heard about it and they said, well, I don't wanna get the vaccine because it can cause infertility. We don't know what can happen a, a year after this vaccine, right? We just developed it. However, vaccines have a very safe track record in pregnancy. We know that pregnant women have gotten COVID-19 and we have not seen a major rise in spontaneous miscarriage. So there's no evidence at this time to support that. But of course, we need to follow it. All right, question number three here. Let's go ahead and put it up and see what it might be today. <laughs> question number three from our viewers. What is body mass index BMI? How much should I pay attention to my number? Amy, TJ says that like he didn't send in the question. Yeah, we, exactly. we know you're always the question, question three. number three. It's always mine. That's your jam. <laughs> I cop to it, okay? Right, so, <laughs> so body mass index is what we use in medicine to evaluate risk of overweight, obesity, and even underweight and various health outcomes, okay? Is it perfect? No, because it does not take into account muscle mass, but it's basically a ratio of your height to your weight, and it can be used in clinical medicine and nutrition to predict outcomes, both positive and negative ones, and to help guide safe medical weight loss. So is it perfect? No, but it's just another value. It's like your blood pressure. The tool. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you as you always. Mean. Folks, keep the questions coming to Dr. Ashton on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.